What to do when the urge to eat all the sugar hits? That is the question of the day. Hello, I'm Aishan, aka The Omnivorist. I'm a nutritional therapy practitioner in Paris, France, and I'm passionate about helping busy moms recover their energy and vitality through real food and healthy habits. Welcome to my weekly series, Ask the Omnivorist, Food and Health Nuggets for Busy Mamas. And today is the second and last episode of my two-part series on how to beat sugar cravings. By the way, I have a special gift for you at the end of um, today's video, so make sure to stay on till the end. So last week, um, I wanted you to um, I, I wanted you to get an idea about what might be going on in your body when you are experiencing struggling with sugar cravings. Um, you know, our bodies are always trying to talk to us. That this is really something I believe in. And our lives being that what they are, and it's literally so noisy out there that we don't always um, have the chance to really hear them. So I wanted you to start with three questions, which was, did I eat enough? Did I drink enough? And did I sleep enough? And then um, try to switch to a real whole foods diet and especially a real food breakfast, at least as much of the time as possible. Now, this, these changes, dealing with your sugar cravings, that's not something that's going to happen overnight. And that is totally normal. That's really okay. So today, I wanted to share my practical tips with you when you find yourself in the heat of the moment next time this happens, next time you're hit with a sugar craving, okay? So, so this is going back to what we said last time, first consider starting um, just having a big glass of water because it might be that you're a little thirsty and you are also experiencing some of that as hunger. And if that's not enough, um, maybe have something savory. Uh, you know, one of the other things I mentioned last week is that your body might actually be missing some nutrition and it's maybe asking for sugar because it knows that it's a concentrated source of calories. But, you know, you might just want to give it the right fuel if really hunger, um, true hunger is the case here. So there are many ways you can do that. You can have a handful of nuts, you know, almonds and cashews and Brazil nuts and hazelnuts. Those are all great. And I find that it's actually harder to overeat those when they're raw. Um, you could also be just having leftovers. You could be having an avocado. Um, also, what I love to have on hand always is some boiled um, boiled eggs and boiled potatoes. Those also make for great snacks, um, especially sprinkled with a little um, uh, with a little sea salt. Also, you could consider um, uh, what else I was thinking. I was thinking of nut butters. Also, um, you can put some nut butter on. You know. Um, like a, you know, I eat like gluten free crackers, like maybe buckwheat or something like that. Um, also, if you have good quality beef jerky where you live, or if you make that sort of thing, um, you can also do like pate or riette again on, um, on some crackers, or even the potato could be a good vehicle for that. Um, and also, those are all the, oh yeah, good quality cheese is also really good and it's, it can be really satisfying. Um, and also, of course, fresh fruit makes a great snack as well. Now, if all of those are not enough and you're still hankering for that really sweet taste, then I would suggest you do something like a whole food um, sweet, like maybe a dried fruit. For example, I love, um, I actually really love uh, taking really super dark chocolate, like even 100% chocolate, which is kind of gross on its own. But if you put that inside a date or a dried fig, it's super delicious. And just having one or two of those, it's really rich. So it's very, very satisfying. So that's something you could do. And of course, it is possible to overdo all of these things that I just mentioned, but there's still much better options for you. There's still whole food options, you know, rather than um, that cookie or cupcake or um, ice cream or the, you know, or, or that sweet milk chocolate that's been making eyes at you. So you're still going to be better off if you eat this kind of food when you have that sugar craving. Now, there is something else that um, I want to mention, and that is sugar obviously many of us know maybe we don't think of it this way but it has a really strong pull on us and for many of us it can actually be an emotional comfort it could be a source of emotional comfort i mean i definitely i definitely get that um so that is why i always also like to emphasize that um you should be 
practicing self-compassion first and foremost. So instead of thinking of it as, oh my God, I'm like, I'm denying myself my only worldly pleasure. <laughs> Think of it more like, I'm actually trying to be a better friend to myself and I'm trying to um, be more attuned to what my body and soul need so that I can really give myself what I need and be able to plan better and take better care of myself next time. So if you come at it from this perspective, if you have that like that, if you reframe the question like that, I think that will only make it better. Um, I think it, anything we do, any dietary change, any new healthy habit we're trying to um, adopt, it always goes through your mind first. So if you have that mindset piece um, in place, that's really going to be your ally. Um, just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything for you. Um, yeah, so yeah, I mean, uh, my bottom line to recap these two videos um, for you is that be curious about what your body's trying to tell you and ask yourself those three questions. Take note of what's going on and prepare better next time. And also make sure that you're switching to a real food diet and a real food breakfast. Um, eat enough. And especially make sure that you're eating enough protein and good fats because those can definitely uh, play a role in satiety. Um, and in the heat of the moment, drink a big glass of water. And if that's not enough, have a savory snack or a piece of fresh fruit. And if all of those things still don't do it, then maybe consider having um, something like dried fruit and dark chocolate. So, and then of course, be compassionate with yourself the whole way through. So I really hope that this information will help you get ahead uh, of your sugar cravings a little bit. Um, and as I uh, mentioned earlier, I have a special um, gift for you today. I prepared a cheat sheet that puts together all of these tips in these two videos for you in one practical place. So you can go ahead and claim that right now at theomnivorous.com slash sugar download theomnivorous.com slash sugar download. And that links, of course, also in the comments. Thank you so much for being here today. And I will see you right here next week. Have a wonderful weekend.